I decided to dress like a Gen Z because I was being a Gen Z. Wow. Did I try? Okay. I hope I didn't do so much. <laughs> even did this line that they used to do. Yeah. Well, even though that's me, like I just wanted to have that. I look really nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, good. It's afternoon here, but good day. In, I mean, wherever, like whatever your timeline is. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. My name is Falasha De Daimi, and you know that last week we started like this series where we bring people, young people like you, who are doing very well in their careers. And today, I want you guys to guess. Wait, can I see her? Okay, I hope not. <laughs> I want you guys to guess who I brought. You know, you know, for you today, she's a Texas. She's she's a believer, and, like she's an all round like person and i just brought that so that you guys can hear her story like hear how she started how far like how english but you get my point like how come that she have come to this place that she is now you understand yeah so hi guys so i have um Adiri sola here Adiri sola the figure mama now the adobe mama <laughs> sorry Adiri sola she is um i'm just going to leave the introduction to her so that she can she can talk to you guys. Hi there, please introduce yourself. Hi guys, yeah. my name is Adri Salalua Fermi. Hey, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Dorisa Lalo Afemi. I'm a yeah. product designer. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, product designer. Stuff? Where do you work? Oh, at Eden Life. I work. I'm a product designer at Eden Life. Okay. Nice so all that you. food. I mean, did you, did, you, did you give you guys all that food? Like well, I mean, we there. get discounts. Oh, okay. It's discounts that they give us. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you don't get all the food. No, we don't. Okay. That makes me feel better. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Because I saw like I think it was a tweet that someone said about like getting lunch oh your employees yeah. i mean like we do company plans as well so oh okay yeah. okay so you get the food now why did you say you don't get no. the food <laughs> you get this car yes. you get okay, lunch get the food okay <laughs> don't mind i'm just i'm just you know, you. thank you Demi. thank you for i mean coming and doing this today is a sunday guys we are shooting on a sunday and there is coming from church so i can imagine how tired you know she is but she was gracious enough to come and um share so much of you know our journey you know with us so let's just get into it right so do you just want to tell me about how growing up was uh, where did you grow up did you grow up in lagos uh, yes I okay. did. um growing up was i grew up in ikeja was, oh really yeah i was born in ikeja, I Mado. Up, ikeja. <laughs> yeah i was born in ikeja i okay. think grew up in ikeja i spent mm -hmm. most of my life in ikeja until like my family and i moved out but then mm -hmm. growing up was it, we were we're a family of four, so like okay. I have a little brother who is mm -hmm. not so little anymore. But <laughs> I have a little brother, and it was just my family and I are pretty close, or mm. like we were pretty close, and we are very similar in terms of like interests, right? So like one thing that I would say from my childhood, I remember from my childhood mm -hmm. is how we the house was filled with books, wow. right? So there are books everywhere, there are bookshelves, there are tables with books, there are books on the floor, there are books everywhere. And that's something that my brother and I picked up because my parents loved reading, mm -hmm. right? So we picked that up as a young, at a young age and it was mm -hmm. one of the things that bonded us as a family. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, growing up was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. it was cool. Yeah, what primary school did you attend? Um, I attended this school in Akadia as well, future kids, Are primary school? school. I do not know. I think so. <laughs> okay. they, they might be still there. I think oh, okay. so. Because last I checked, they were, but that was like probably a year ago. Oh, okay. But, yeah. okay. And then for secondary school, I went to Vivian Fowler Memorial College oh, for really? girls. Okay. Yeah. Those ones are still there. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I didn't go to university. But, okay. Yeah. But we'll talk about, we'll, we'll pick that up later, if you are comfortable talking about it. Okay, so I asked you if your premise was still there, because mine doesn't exist anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a long story, but our proprietor did some things, and, oh. yeah, and his wife left, and all of that, oh. but yeah. Okay. So I can't tell Riri now that, ah, look at Riri, this is, this was this premise school, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't exist anymore. Okay, yeah, so I was going to say that for secondary school, like you said, you attended Vivian Paula, yeah. was that a boarding um, school? It was a day and boarding, but I was a day Oh, you were this student. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I can't. We can't start getting into all the. I did not experience any of that. But do you, do you wish you did? Like you had like boarding students like within like the, the yeah. community. How was that like interacting was, with them? There were times that I wished I was a boarding student, okay. but then there was a lot going on. So like secondary school was a hard time for me because mm -hmm. I was bullied basically. Wow. So if I was in boarding school, it would have been a lot have been worse. worse. So yeah, that mm. was just like I'm glad that mm -hmm. I didn't. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Even me, I am glad that you didn't <laughs> because um, just like to pick off that 
I was in boarding school. I attended a public school initially because my parents were like very buoyant. Then when things got a little bit better, then I went to boarding school and I was very bullied. And I remember it like from this day. So and I was in so I was in boarding school. It was a new environment and yeah. it was not nice. So I remember this guy is my friend anyway, so I forgive him. I'm not gonna call your name, <laughs> Bolaji. You know yourself. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he drew <clears throat> Did you? Because I used to be flat. They used to call me flat because I didn't have boobs. I didn't have one bone. Yeah. Feel and then they drew someone who was looking so much better. And then they now drew me flat like that. So I don't remember. And it's just crazy how experiences like that shape, shape you. Shape you. Yeah. And, and I think for me, I just had to consciously break out of it. That's not me. Like, yeah. yes, that was me then, but that's not it like me anymore. Who you are. Yeah. yeah. So do you think, like, you moved on from that bullying experience as you ever happened that any of your secondary school mates saw you and they're like ah oh, wow look at Darren and yeah has anything um, like that ever happened on moving on I am moving on like I mean I don't think much about it until recently where like it just comes up in conversations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I would say that it doesn't affect me as much as he used to but then I was, like I'm obviously still working on the whole self-love mm -hmm. part where mm -hmm. oh you're not what they said you yeah. were and then on just like interacting with them what that's like i mm -hmm. don't talk to most people mm -hmm. from my secondary school like okay. after secondary school after a couple of months maybe a couple of months one year I just cut everyone on yeah. them off okay. except one major person that i mean we were really close when mm -hmm. we graduated mm -hmm. so now we, we don't talk that much because yeah. life just happened mm -hmm. but then we catch up once in a while okay. um she's the only person that i would say that i still talk, talk to. to but yeah. i don't i mean i follow some of them on social media they mm -hmm. follow me on social media mm -hmm. but we don't really talk yeah. or interact with one another so. yeah so i was even going to ask you like was there like one person that wasn't like a bully because i remember in my own scenario in fact she's my friend now she's in she's in oxford but she just graduated from o oxford i don't know if you know her fisayo fifi funds she's on twitter oh, as well yeah, I love yeah. Her. she's so sweet yeah she is actually and she was one person then that was that was nice to me one of the people that were nice to me because it yeah. wasn't just her but i remember there was this particular like time so we're in the box room no bucket room like where we put our buckets and okay. she wrote me a note i don't even know why and if i remember it very vividly i think it was like my first or second term and she said um i just wanted you to know that you are really beautiful and she said new ways i think it was a very strange way of writing anyways yeah. and she was like very popular you know they were like popular people in school yep. so coming from someone who was like widely accepted like her telling me that really like meant a lot even though i don't think i believe that I was like ah, this one said, I'm, I'm, I'm not fine. like like guys that said i'm not fine like yeah. the raining guys and what well, that's like made a difference so i was just going to ask you that was that that one person for you what was that thing that that one person did that makes you like think that or made the difference if you get me um i wouldn't say that i had that experience exactly oh, and okay. this is i'm not even what's the word i don't 100 percent blame my bullies because mm -hmm. I also feel like I put well I don't know I don't think it was your fault yeah but yeah. then at the same time it was the whole thing where you try to be accepted by people mm -hmm. so like I was a what was the word I don't know what the word is right now but basically like it's not a sucker but that kind yeah, of person who was just, just trying to get to like you yeah yeah and then obviously that put me mm -hmm. in the position to yeah. allow myself to be bullied yeah. right yeah um and then I know that when I first joined when I first entered secondary school like just one there were a couple of people who like they were my guys unfortunately I wish like I had played things out differently mm -hmm. I mean knowing what I know now <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, yeah like I mean they were my guys there were people who loved books like I did it was just like cool people mm -hmm. really good people and yeah. then i i mean they did accuse me of this at the time and then i also realized i did it where it's just like oh you shun your friends because mm -hmm. you're trying to get with the popular mm -hmm. guys which i eventually did but it was like oh they were using me or just like let this person in because whatever they weren't yeah. really my friends yeah. at least yeah um so yeah so i would say that the people who were there for me or who were tried to be there people. for me I pushed them away yeah. so that I could be accepted by the yeah. other guys who I'm not even friends mm -hmm, with. Mm -hmm. And who didn't like really genuinely. Yeah. But the person mm -hmm. I mentioned that um, I still talk to, she went, funny thing is that like during the lower, younger years of school, she was one of the people that considered my bullies, right? Mm -hmm. She didn't like me and I didn't mm -hmm. like her. Like, we were, <laughs> we were just, it was, we were just <laughs> always fighting. And then I don't know how, one day, I think you would just realize that, I don't know how, 
something whether my mom's driver knew her mom or something mm -hmm. i don't know mm -hmm. it just became a thing where every day after school we would drop her at home because her house was on the way to mine mm -hmm. and then it's now it now became like oh i'll sleep over uh, not sleep over i'll stay over her place mm -hmm. still maybe my dad is done with work and then they'll pick me up as they're picking my dad or something and then we just got close but yeah that's it. Okay. 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 so i sort of stayed on like the old secondary school experience because i think even till now it's still a, like raw sports like for most people like the old bullying experience and to see someone here like who went through that and still like came out so that's just why that i stayed on that topic you know for yeah. a bit yeah so um i was going to say okay what's your favorite childhood memory but i think we spoke do you have any memory that just like comes to mind like maybe a vacation like you took or a particular time that you and a sibling bonded is there anything like that Think. Nothing comes to mind. I feel like, I mean, there are obviously a lot of them, but nothing mm -hmm. comes to mind mm -hmm. right now. Okay. 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 So, back to like the whole conversation about not getting, not having a uni degree, but still being, I mean, during the fig mama. Did I pronounce it right? It's fig mama. Oh my God. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Let's just pretend as if we didn't hear you say fig. <laughs> I've been saying fig mama since when did you correct me? Oh my it's god. Fine, fine. Okay, so the fig mama. Guys, fig mama, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how I mean how has that been like okay, like you didn't go to why okay, number one, my first question, like I'm just even curious. Why didn't you like go to uni yeah? And like this is if you're comfortable answering it. And how have you been able to like build a successful career? This is for like whoever it is that probably didn't get the opportunity to go to uni or probably just didn't even want to like I can say okay, this is someone like me, right? And she's like really successful and I and I want to be like her. How would you speak to someone like that? Um on why I didn't go to uni, it mm -hmm. was a it's a long story that okay. I don't really want to get into, okay, but so then there were, it was, it wasn't a that. deliberate decision okay. initially, okay. right? It was, okay, I, I was initially going to take a gap year and then yeah. I would go, but okay. then things kept coming up and I was like, okay, you'll go the next year, okay. and then you go okay. the next year, okay. and then it just never happened. Okay. Um, as for how I built the career, it took me a while to get into design because mm -hmm. i graduated um secondary school in like 2015 okay and then after that i was doing photography at the time like i was still very into photography mm -hmm. so that was what i was using to what's the word um make it look like i was busy yeah right? yeah um yeah so that's what i was just doing okay. from time to time mm -hmm. and then i stopped that okay. and i just didn't have anything i was doing for like at least maybe three or more years mm -hmm. i was mm -hmm. just literally doing nothing mm -hmm. I, I was also trying to prepare for school like okay yeah. i need to go on to study i'll read up on, yeah. about it and just try and like keep my mind mm -hmm. or brain smart for mm -hmm. when i do go into mm -hmm. school but after a while i got tired and discouraged about that because okay. it was like it doesn't look like you will eventually go and okay. i didn't know what to do about that okay um then fast forward a couple of years i met somebody okay who was a designer mm -hmm. and a really 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 good, good designer one. and oh, okay. he was also very passionate about it mm -hmm. and it just rubbed like the funny thing is how we met right mm -hmm. so like my like i said um after a while my parents and i moved or my family and i moved out of lagos oh, okay. so we moved um like near Mowe and okay. all okay. and then i was in church okay. and then one day there was this guy that came in to mm -hmm. our church just like, random yeah new person i mean like so we our church was inside redeemed camp so I think it was one of those Sundays where like there was a program happening and people from Lagos and other places came for the program and they were supposed to leave that morning. Mm -hmm. But I think like oh their bus got delayed, so he decided to just come for wow. service, right? And he entered the church and I was very shy then. I don't know how or why, but I went, walked up to him and I literally asked for his phone number for no reason. I don't know wow. why. I mean I thought he was cute. But <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like I, I don't know, something it just felt like I had to because okay. I keep thinking that if I didn't, I may not be that where I am. That would have been different. Yeah, so it was. He is actually a major highlight in my journey. Mm. But we started speaking. The next day, I found out that he was a designer. He came for like a design-related thing and all, or media-related thing because he does the media for um, okay. Redeemed and all. And then. He started teaching me like basics of design, but at least graphic design. Mm -hmm. And then I started wanting to learn more and read more. How can I actually get into design? Because I knew how to design a bit, but I wasn't okay. really, I didn't call myself a designer, yeah. right? Um, and then I found UI UX, okay. which I didn't think I would get into because mm -hmm. I used to think that it was a very, very 
hard and impossible thing to do, yeah. right? So like, oh, how do you build an entire app? I don't have the smarts mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. But I decided to, um, like in still trying to learn more about different things, I joined, I was reaching out to a lot of people, okay. like a lot of designers, like, yeah. oh, can you mentor me, mm -hmm. all of that. Um, no, that doesn't really work because, I mean, when you tell people, and like, I, because like, okay, I feel I mean, the same way. People, the yeah, same like, when they say, oh, now. can you mentor me? I'm just yeah. like, eh. <laughs> that sounds like a whole lot of work and a whole, like yeah. I don't have that time to dedicate yeah. for but then when you're more specific about what it is that you want so like it helps but anyway um, I found out about this group chat and mm -hmm. I joined it was called Ideators and it was a design group chat okay. and the funny thing is that like, after I joined like the group was full they closed up like oh we're wow. not um, accepting any more members like yeah. we're a lot already and then they had like that week or so they had mm -hmm. a class on UI UX design and this class was taught by someone who was a role model of mine like he hold, okay. owns this um, digital agency and they do amazing work wow and I didn't pay attention in the class I wasn't really interested because like I said I had already written it off but I think like the next day I was just going through the messages because I didn't open the group chat yeah I was going through the messages and I'm like this thing is actually not as hard as you thought as I thought it was right like it seems a lot more easier than I expected it to be. And mm -hmm. I decided to give it, I didn't give it a try immediately, probably like two, three months after. Mm -hmm. I decided to give it a try and just test the waters. And it made sense. I don't know, they just felt like, okay, I'm meant mm -hmm. to be here. Doing like this is something yeah. that I like doing yeah. and I just kept doing it. Okay. Then for like the career aspect of it, I thought that, oh, okay, I can make it as a freelancer. I thought that life <laughs> was very easy. You know? Like, oh, okay, now I'm, in, yeah, exactly, like, oh, now I'm a designer. Gigs will just be coming left and right. It doesn't work like that. And I also knew that um, I needed, I'm the kind of person that has like a lot of hobbies. So like thinking back on the question of my childhood, like yeah. I had, my parents made me take piano lessons when I was growing up. So wow. like I can do the piano a bit, but not that well. Yeah. Um, I tried to learn guitar at some point, did not stay at that. <laughs> I know how to crochet. Oh, really? I know how, or, well, I knew. So I you can make I a wedding dress from crochet? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't. I haven't done it yet, so I don't know okay. if I can still do it. Okay. But um, crocheting, baking classes, mm -hmm. wanted to be a chef at some point. Mad. Photography, <laughs> jewelry making. I used to like when I was really, really young. I used okay. to make jewelry and sell. Beads. Like the different yeah. things that I've. Okay. But then. I have stopped all those things. Okay. Like I'm a start and stop person. I used to be I'm not a start and stop person. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I used to be a start and stop person. Okay. And I thought I felt like design would be like that. So mm. I would start design and I would like it now and like all the whole hype. Like yeah, okay, I really we'll like it, down. I'm enjoying it and mm. then it would just Mm. I will leave it and go and look for something else to be yeah. there. And I didn't want that. So I started mm -hmm. looking for a job, mm. which was hard because no university degree yeah. and no previous work experience. Wow. Okay. Um, so after failing to find a job or to even see jobs to apply to, because mm -hmm. it wasn't like oh, I was applying and getting rejected. Like yeah. I didn't even find the jobs to apply yeah. to. I started looking for um, internships. Like, okay. okay, maybe that could help me yeah. get my foot in the door. Yeah. And I had already built this community around me. I, I still don't know how I did it, but like I had already gotten that community. Mm -hmm. And like there were people- From who, ideators? Not even necessarily ideators, okay. but there was some from ideators. I, I joined, no, this was even before I joined Asha. Oh, okay. But then, I don't know, I met Moody Imaswa. He okay. is a designer. Yeah. I was following him on Twitter. I thought that he did amazing work, even though now I think, did I even see his work before thinking? <laughs> but then he does amazing work. Okay. But then it was just one of those people that I really wanted to talk to and yeah. know. Okay. And then the day he was going on a Twitter break, he saw, like I had sent him a DM a while ago, yeah. apparently, and he hadn't responded. Mm -hmm. And the day he was going on a Twitter break, he somehow saw that DM wow. and he responded. I was like, okay, here's my number. I'm going off of Twitter now. Okay. And then we started talking and he became one of like my mentors and just like mm -hmm. biggest supporters. Wow. And then he added me to Asha Kuteri. And then like that's now where I met more designers okay. and like built that network. But okay. Yeah, um, when I was now looking for internships, I decided to just put it out on Twitter. Okay. Uh, if anybody knows any internship mm -hmm. that I can, um, anyone looking for a UI UX yeah. intern where yeah. I can learn, just let mm -hmm. me know. Okay. Um, and I would say like that helped because I mean that made people know no, that you, I was job yeah, hunting, right? Yeah. And then I got a DM from or a WhatsApp message from someone who was also a product is a product designer, designer. I look up to. Okay. Um, and he told me that he had a friend in Ikeja who had just started a digital agency and they were looking for a UI okay. UX intern, wow. so he could connect me. Okay. And then I was like, okay, no problem. Okay. And then he linked me up. I did the interview, yeah. didn't think like, the guy has such a straight face, I did not think that I was doing well. 
you couldn't read his face. I not. <laughs> but after it, I found out that I got the job. Like I had to move back to Lagos. Funny thing is, I moved back to Lagos before I was told that I got the job, just in hopes. Yeah. But we moved back to Lagos, got the job, and then a year later. Hmm. After months of disturbing him, asking him why he hired me, yeah. he told me, I mean, there was just a lot that he told me, but one thing that stuck to me yeah. um, was like, he was also, he saw that I had potential mm -hmm. and it was also like, it was down to me and somebody else. Yeah. And the other person had a job, a oh. good job somewhere. Okay. Who, okay. She was just looking for a new opportunity, yeah. but she had a good job. She was a yeah. good designer. She yeah. had the degree and everything. Yeah. And then there was me who doesn't have that much mm -hmm. experience. Like mm -hmm. he was taking a real chance. Yeah. Me, and I'm glad yeah. he did. Yeah. But it was like, let me at least help this babe get into the wow. door at least from here she will be able to yeah it's, move, yeah, yeah because it was really hard for me to get the mm -hmm, job in the mm -hmm. first place so like i mean that's something i'm really grateful for wow but, yeah i mean okay so like as you were talking i was taking notes like with <laughs> okay. my fingers and the first thing like i like held on to and i wanted to tell like whoever it is that is watching don't just go into people's dms asking them to be your mentor yeah it's like a very vague request it and is. it's just probably going to scare them off yeah right so like Darren said ask for one specific thing that you want you know them to do for you you can ask oh can you recommend resources for me to read right and a good way and i'm giving you a tip now a good way to do that is after maybe Darren tells you go and read Asha Kotere. I know Asha Kotere is not a book. I'm just using it as an <laughs> example. Or go and read this thing, this thing like by this person. Make sure you actually read it and come back to her and say, oh, I read this and even if you have to make it up, oh, I read this and what um, this person said on page 42 was so right. And by then, like, okay, she's like, oh, okay, this person seems a bit serious and she's probably yeah. more likely, you know, to follow up. Don't use that formula because you will know that you guys got it from here. Use, <laughs> use another one. <laughs> but the whole idea is don't just go into people's DMs, asking them to be your mentor, right? Actually ask like for a specific thing. And when they recommend resources to you, make sure you actually follow through, right? Yeah. And and then you can you would get into their hearts faster, you know, that way. So that was the first thing I wanted to point out. The second thing was I wanted to say to you that, you know, as you as you were talking, I just started like realizing like defining moments in your journey where I would say God's hand was on you yep. right and it's really hard to separate the fact that why was it I mean the day that the person came you know to church you know and that you felt led to go meet him even though you felt like the person was cute but even good as I mean like I, I, I think you're <laughs> cute from afar normally yeah. it's very unlike me to walk up to you yeah I mean saying that you were shy yeah that in, um, instance and then the other instance of um the twitter break and then him seeing your post and then the other instance of adding you to the ideal group and then they closed it afterwards so like just really seeing god's hand right yeah. like on those some people will call it coincidences but as children it's of like god constant yeah coincidences constant stuff. i mean that's yeah. like yeah and it just really showed you know that god's hand was on you and it's still on you i mean yeah. your papa do the remove and so <laughs> god's hand is still on you and this is just like an encouragement to you even if you feel like you're disadvantaged disadvantage because i mean in you um, in nigeria where you need degree seems to be like a huge deal yeah. you would think someone would probably not be successful because i mean when you hear about uni degrees people doing well without uni degrees you hear about like abroad and you're mm -hmm. like ah yeah okay yes yeah, so you say mark is, Zuckerberg, yeah. like it's easy and all of that but this is someone who is in nigeria you know but i mean and, and she's like she's doing like really good for herself and you can see like instances where like she was led and like god led people to her right so those were the two things i just wanted to pick off you know from your conversation mm -hmm. before my next question so i think i just have about four questions left <laughs> and we'll be done so guys you guys can get to your lunch yeah okay so the, my next question was you mentioned like photography how was that like can you just like talk about that and why you dropped it Okay, um, how I started was, yeah, and when I was entering um, SS1, okay, there were, we had to pick trade subjects, okay. so the options were photography, um, data processing, yeah. clothing and textile, mm -hmm. um, catering, yeah, and photography was the thing that made that was, it was the least. I don't like, I don't know how to put this, but least it was, thing, it's like, it was, it was the like, least thing you didn't like. I I, you well, know, like it's small. Yeah, you can talk in PJ. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I wasn't interested in doing any of the other okay. things. So I decided to start that. And my mom had this little, these tourist cameras, this silver 
casio point and shoot cameras mm -hmm. that okay. you see like tourists taking pictures <laughs> on. she had yeah. those and those were what I, I those, that's what i used to start okay and then i mean because like assignments were like oh take like five nature pictures yeah. take five landscape pictures all okay. of that okay. and then i went to one of my uncle's houses one day mm -hmm. for i don't know he was he had moved into a new place okay and then while i was trying the house i saw a professional camera okay and i carried it wow. and i started <laughs> taking pictures okay. like around the house mm -hmm. and all and i was like uncle i'm taking this thing home with me and he actually let me take it oh home, okay right? and i just had it that's all i was using for my mm -hmm. assignments i was just yeah. taking pictures so i got used i learned how to do the whole mm -hmm. Like learning how I learned how to take pictures, and I'm thinking about it now. And my family was extremely supportive because I had uncles and aunties getting me like magazines of yeah, photography, just to encourage our interest. House. But yeah, like magazines of photography, okay. all of that, sending me videos mm -hmm. that they had on like learning photography and getting yeah. better at it. And then for Christmas, or I don't even know if it was Christmas yet, but like a couple of months later, my uncle got me my own camera. Oh, okay. Right, so that I can give him his own back. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he got me my own camera. Okay. And I mean, I'm still grateful for that. Yeah. And I started taking pictures. I mean, after school ended, I was doing events, photography, but mostly for family. So okay. like birthdays, yeah. naming ceremonies, okay. all of that. It was one wedding inception, just taking Did pictures. Did those pay well? It depends on what to wear. <laughs> then, <laughs> then, then it was they, well. Okay. <laughs> I will not charge that now. Of but course. Then it was good because okay, okay. I wasn't earning money. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I was charging like forty k. I think the max I charged was fifty k, but forty k oh, for an event. That was good money. I mean, that was twenty early I mean, twenty. What? I was like sixteen years old. So. Okay. So what? Wow. Well, you were even making a lot more than the average average person. <laughs> okay. So why did you drop? It got tiring. So, like, what I like doing is taking pictures of, like, my friends and people, just, mm -hmm. like, portraits. Mm. But doing the event thing was just, I, I got really tired of it. Okay. Especially because I was still very shy. And okay. Event photography requires you to be out there because, like, you have to make the shots and you have yeah. to get the shots. Imagine, yeah. like, I'm at a wedding and because I'm too shy to tell somebody to excuse me, I'll yeah, not yeah, get, no, no, get like, your shots. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's, those are the things. And it was just, mm -hmm. like, also, you have to be a very... I don't know if I started with the word, but assertive person where people can push you around. Because yeah. the people would people know the pictures that they want to mm -hmm. like, oh come and take this one, come and mm -hmm. take this one, come mm -hmm. and take this one, do this, do that. Mm -hmm. And they were like basically take over and you're just like they're like your director and you're just Yeah. And I just I was tired of it. So okay. I stopped for a while. And then it just got it got stressful to pick up my camera. Like I used to be the person that everywhere mm -hmm. I was going, I would be with my camera. Like you knew during like she was always if yeah. I'm going to visit my friend, my camera. Mm -hmm. If I'm walking in the estate and I see something that I really want to yeah. take, like I'll stop and take a picture of it. Yeah. And then I just lost all okay. of that passion, mm -hmm. right? So that I decided to stop. Okay. Picking it back up, I haven't really picked it back up. I okay. mean, I take pictures on my phone, which yeah. is much more easier than and taking my camera. Sorry to cut you <clears throat> short. I think it's obvious in your dumps. Like they always, I always look forward to them because <laughs> they're always very different. I think, and I don't know if this is a thing, but I think dump leadership. I think you have that. I mean, in, on Twitter, where okay. like you said, because I noticed when you started mixing like plenty pictures, people to start mixing plenty pictures, put on their dump. I carried it from somebody, so <laughs> let's not be that I started okay. this. I saw somebody do it, and I was oh, like, oh, okay. I like this. For well, me, I saw it from you first, anyway, so I'm giving you <laughs> that credit. <laughs> okay, um, so. Um, I feel like um, most of these questions that I have here, like we basically talk about like most of them, like when you were telling me about how like you, like your career path. So I just have two questions okay. like left and, and that will be all. Okay, so this thing where I just freeze out and forget all my questions has happened you, again. Happens. <laughs> okay, so um, in all of this, like in all of this, like journey from being a child till now, what role would you say being a believer, you know, has played or in it? Like being a Christian, like having a relationship with God. I'd say one. I mean, okay, let me even talk about before getting the job. Okay. Like even when I'm doing basic designs for yeah. whatever it is that I'm mm -hmm. trying to design for when I'm still learning. Yeah. There would be times where or example would be, you know how your family members when they know you can do something, mm -hmm. they will not stretch it. Yeah. Like how like oh they will call you a technician for knowing how to like, <laughs> do something in settings on your phone. And yeah. my parents are not like that. <laughs> but then it's the whole thing like okay I I'm learning design so I can do any mm -hmm. type of design, mm -hmm. right? And it makes sense to use like the person that is in your house that go and pay <laughs> money <laughs> outside. So like I mean there was the time I needed to do a logo for my dad and I did not know <laughs> I mean logo. <laughs> but I mean, how do I tell my dad that I cannot do this thing? <laughs> 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 and my dad, and my dad is a pastor, so okay. it's the whole God will inspire you. 
I love it. <laughs> and but the, I mean, like my dad says that a lot, but then it's not a joke because it does happen. I can see like it wow. does happen to me. Yeah. I mean, like for the logo, somehow I like I cannot tell you how I created that logo, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but somehow it was created. Wow. And I did not know how to use the tool, so mm -hmm. it wasn't like oh I knew how to use the tool. Mm -hmm. I'm doing things like I did mm -hmm. not even know how to use the tool, mm -hmm. but somehow mm -hmm. that logo was created and my dad loves it. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then it's just things like that, that I started applying in different aspects of my design process. Like when I'm designing something and I'm just stuck and stuck mm -hmm. and I'm just mm -hmm. like it's not working. Yeah. Doing the Eden ad. Okay. And he had told me to apply okay months before and i was like oh no i'm not good enough mm. i don't think i like mm -hmm. because they were looking for some more senior yeah and all. yeah I'm like i'm not that good i'm mm -hmm. not that good and mm -hmm. i was just like i'm not doing it and yeah. only for this babe to come and say she wants to recommend me and yeah. i was about to turn it down okay. and then he was like i shouldn't i should at least go to the interview okay. and i did that um mm -hmm. and they've just been what's the word also i mean i've had multiple maybe offers at the same time yeah. and like trying to pick which, which one, one mm. is like i mean i can pick based on oh okay this makes sense this seems to make sense physically but then, like what appeals to the yeah, eye yeah but then it's like okay growing up the way i grew up is like okay yeah. pray mm -hmm. about it and mm -hmm. also my parents i cannot go and tell my parents that oh i just felt like you yeah know, taking this job because yeah. they asked did you pray about it mm -hmm. so i will obviously pray about it before i go and meet them yeah. right so like praying about it and just like for instance eden i know that god wants me here because like mm -hmm. i literally dreamt about it yeah and, like it was between Eden, I can't remember what the other company mm -hmm, was, but mm -hmm. then it was Eden and something else. Someone and it was else, just, yeah. yeah, things like that, just knowing that steps of my, or parts of my journey are directed by God. Because every time I think about how every single thing that led me here, it's like, it doesn't make sense how. Mm -hmm, there are too mm -hmm. many coincidences. I yeah. mean, I know coincidences work for some people, but to me, it's like, there are way too many mm -hmm, coincidences mm -hmm. for it to just be a random Yeah, thing, so. for it to be random. That's like really, like, that's like very, like, um, instructive. I mean, to know that, like, what people might call coincidence is actually God's hand. And another thing that you said, like, I can really relate to is that all, like, having ideas. Because we're in a creator economy, right? And people literally prosper or do not because of the ideas that they have. Yeah. And I mean, as believers, I mean, we have God on our inside and we can get the best ideas by just relying on Him instead of trying to do it on our own. Yeah. So, my last question, right? Um, so, if, like, I was a newbie and I came to meet you, like, oh, I want to, I want to learn, like, product design. And what steps or what resources would you recommend? If you recommend them now, I will just ask you for links so I can put them in the description box for whoever it is that is watching. Okay. Like, do you have any resource like that, any course on Udemy or anything like that that they can? They First can go thing for? that comes to mind is a book okay. by Michelle. Book. I don't know okay. if it's Michelle or Michelle. Okay. I'm sorry if you're watching this. <laughs> but um, <laughs> she's a designer babe. Like, I okay. love her. I love her work. Okay. She's really good. And so, she designer babe. Yes. Yeah, so okay. She wrote a book. Okay. Clueless to designer, and it's basically okay. Supposed Sorry, to what's the title of the book again? Clueless to designer. Clueless so, to designer. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's basically answers every question that a new someone trying to get into product design okay. would ask, right? Okay. And then okay. at the end of the book, there's like this whole curriculum, like okay, this is what you should learn, this mm -hmm. is what you should learn. So I'll definitely recommend the book because like from the book, it will lead you to other places that okay. you should go. Okay. And I mean, I would recommend things like that, books and articles, because I learned by not by take. I didn't really take a lot of courses mm -hmm. really, and the mm -hmm. courses I started, I've not, I've not even gone halfway mm. since 2020. <laughs> But <laughs> this is your clue to go and finish all those courses, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I mean, I learned by reading and asking questions. Mm. So it helps to just, that's what I would advise. Yeah. Like, read and ask questions, but don't expect somebody to lay it all out for you. Because I mm -hmm. feel like that's something that people do a lot. Like, okay, come, tell me what I need to do. Yeah. And then because, like, that person doesn't answer, it's not like, oh, it's because of that person. Mm. Like, if not, I would have been a good That's designer. so irresponsible. I mean, I've heard people say things like that. Wow. Like, literally heard people say things like that about some of my friends. So it's like, if you actually want to learn something, mm -hmm go for it so yeah. learn the internet is available if yeah. you have access to internet because like i also know that that's like something of privilege yeah, but then, so like, like there are some that. resources that are available and if you have access to if you have access to those resources use them mm -hmm. and then you can ask people questions so instead of going to someone like oh please mentor me mm -hmm. you already know what it is you're learning and you know the parts of it that are are unclear to you yeah and you can go to someone and ask them for clarification okay. on those things yeah. and like if you need just again like you said earlier just be specific about what it is that you want to know no expect the person to do work by telling you everything that you should know like mm -hmm. make it like, easier on the people you're reaching out to yeah and yeah 
Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, thank you. I think that was clear. And to get their first job, like let's say someone is learning product design and watching this and doesn't have a first job, I think one of the things you said was interning. What else, like yeah. what can they do to land their first job? Um, I know that it's hard. It's extremely hard, mm -hmm. especially because very few people are hiring for junior roles. Mm. So it's very hard. I think that I had it, like I was lucky, yeah. right? Because okay. they were hiring at the same time that mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. um, looking. And the funny thing is like, I forgot to mention this. I mean, I applied for an intern role, but okay. I didn't start as an intern because, like, when they told me I got the job, I was like, "Oh, like you're coming on as a full-on product oh, okay. designer." Okay, at, so. at um, Eden. No, um, okay. the first, the first job, place. Yes, okay. we Technologies. Oh, okay. So okay. I didn't start with an internship, okay. but then internships are good because, like, I mean, that's where we, I feel like. I, this is just an assumption. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like you might find more internships than junior roles, mm -hmm. like entry level mm -hmm. roles. But I mean, it is a form of entry level. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, I would also recommend there are, if you can, I don't know, there, no community is not a word, cohorts, mm -hmm. all these um, things that, like Stutern, for instance, okay. that teach you design. Okay. And then also at the end, it's like, I don't say you're guaranteed, but they try to get you um, into. Ah, these people come to mind. Um, Old school. Old school. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. I don't, I know okay. of old school. Okay. I, also I don't know much about the product. Example. But yeah, like yeah. things like that where it's like, okay, okay, at the end, you're now like, oh, get to maybe if you do really well, they could yeah. link you to a job. Things like okay. that. You should, I would say, look out for that. Okay. I'd also say, I mean, what I did was let people know that I was job hunting. Mm. So, like, at least people that helps to an extent because if people know you're looking mm -hmm. for a job yeah. you'd be one of the first people to come to mind yeah. when they see yeah. those opportunities because yeah. the opportunities are not really there but at least when they see those opportunities they would think to mm. share them with you mm. um and just keep working at it right so that when you do get these opportunities you have the work or at least like the potential to back it up. Mm -hmm. Not that, oh, okay, there are no opportunities. Yeah. There's no way for me to learn. There's no way for mm -hmm. me to grow. I cannot mm -hmm. build my portfolio without work and I'm yeah. not getting work. Yeah. Um, and then you just don't. And when an opportunity comes, it's like, oh, your work isn't good. They haven't seen that you're serious enough mm -hmm. to want to even take that chance mm -hmm. on you. Because if I didn't have something to show, show yeah even though he wanted to take a chance on me, he would not have because I would have True. just been like dragging the company down, yeah, right? right? So, um, yeah. Those are things that I would say. Mm. Oh, yeah. okay. And there are a couple of platforms that share um, oh God, I don't opportunities. Remember. Yeah. yeah, I don't remember the name okay. right now. Um, I can just link it up. Like yeah, later, I'll if see you, if you I can, can just find. share with me. But like they Twitter. share um, yeah. opportunities that okay. come. So. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much for doing this. I mean, okay. Sunday you're supposed to be resting <laughs> and you're Good here. Work and tomorrow. Oh God. How was, how was the weekend already over? It doesn't make sense. Like, I haven't even rested. I had a shoot yesterday, and I'm sure you had things to do yesterday yeah. as well. And you're here today. I think we should sign a petition for like a three day weekend, maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I know some I people agree. actually do it. I agree. So I've told Eden, and I, I told yeah. them last year, remind them again. Please help me. <laughs> if you are watching this, our Eden CEO, sir, please help me give the <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. So, thank you guys for staying till the end. Um, of this episode don't forget to like this video share with your friends if you know anyone who has been trying to get into tech um share with them there is an amazing product designer and i'm sure like all the things that she has shared here would be very helpful so bye guys see you on our next video there is say bye, <laughs> bye guys <laughs>